everybody, welcome in. Time for my shave of the day, and I am ready to shave and get my shave on. I've got about, uh, I'm working on two and a half days whisker growth. Going to be putting on some stash beard oil. This is from Sally's Beauty Supply. That's their own brand and make, and it's an excellent, very thick coating, and it smells nice. All kinds of different essential oils make it up and I'm looking for something thick when I bring out a straight razor I want something that's going to protect my skin from the blade and I really think this stuff does an excellent job it's beard oil believe it or not it's just beard oil designed to put into your beard to moisturize it and revitalize your beard make it look nice and shiny and have a nice scent to it but it makes a fantastic pre-shave oil too it has glycerin in it soybean oil um, it goes on and on with all kinds of different um, oils I won't even try to name them all but uh, I do notice there's safflower uh, seed also grape seed which uh, by the way is also good for your skin so got on some pre-shave oil some people like to use different products and that's okay uh, I've heard of people using Noxzema face cream or cold cream and you go for it if that's what you want to do you do it okay my brush today is I wring out the hot water is the big old monster plus soft from Razo Rock. And it's going to be a Razo Rock shave today, I guess. I'm using the Razo Rock Monster plus Soft Monster and the Razo Rock Tuscan Ode. Yes, this is a sample from uh, Tuscan Ode. They're, uh, that's actually one of their latest shave soaps. Um, I understand that it is an Italian shave soap. Uh, the new formula is made with lanolin. So, keep that in mind if you are going to try some of this soap. It is made with lanolin, in case you have uh, any allergies to sheep or lanolin. Okay? I personally don't. So, I got me a big old chunk I'm going to put it down here in the bowl and uh, whatever I uh, don't use then I will save and pay it forward to a buddy you have all kinds of friends that like to try new things I'm one of those guys in fact this came this particular soap came from uh, the wandering pass around as it's called my buddy Lauren Lair put one out from how to uh, grow a mustache and uh, wet the face and uh, shave for them. Anyway, <clears throat> Lauren has a, a huge pass around. It's called the Wandering Pass Around. Everybody's been wondering where it is. <laughs> it's just down here. In fact, uh, you if you're watching this video, then you probably have already watched the uh, mail call or the pass around opening. It's a, a great, great, huge box of goodies to try and sample. Right now I'm mixing up and uh, getting a nice scent. That's uh, very unique. And it does lather very nicely. But then again, I've never met a Razor Rock soap that didn't lather nicely. As I said, this is their new formulation. It's called <clears throat> Tuscan Ode. O O U D. And uh, in case you're wondering, O U D is a a hard to find fragrance that's developed from trees or a certain wood it's definitely hard to find they say 
and uh, anyway, it's uh, the scent of saturate that saturated wood. And I wouldn't say the name of it because I'm I'm afraid I won't say it properly. That type of tree, but it's that saturated wood. And then they distill that wood and they they get an awesome I guess type of oil off of that and that they call ode anyway this new formulation is supposed to be a fusion between tobacco uh, and uh, well it's a certain kind of tobacco they say they were aiming for a Tom Ford tobacco ode and uh, also aiming for that and a mix between that and Alt Innsbruck Eau de Cologne. But <clears throat> I am not a fan of Alt Innsbruck. In fact, I own some and passed it on. Uh, I personally am not offended by this scent, even though it says that they tried to uh, have an Alt Innsbruck scent. I think it's better than Alt Innsbruck. That's just my opinion. Anyway, I like it. It's a fusion between tobacco and oud wood. Like I said, got a great lather to it. Look at there. Oh, look at that paint on. Really thick and nice and whoa. But, like I said, never have I had a bad razor rot. So, never. very inexpensive especially <laughs> since this is made in Italy great price for a soap made in Italy if you ask me nice nice big lather there Now, I'm just going to stir that back into the bottom of the bowl. Set that down for now. I had a buddy that uh, was trying to help me out. He said, just take your finger and mark along here. So you can see where not to cut. That way I don't cut into my beard. You know, I'm going to try it this time. I told him I wasn't sure I could remember to do that. <laughs> it looks sort of weird though, doesn't it? <clears throat> but who cares what people think, right? Okay, today I'm bringing out a nice 7 8 Wade and Butcher. Look at that baby right there. Nice. 7 8 no, it's not as big as my 8 8 but it's nice. I like this one. Really sweet. I stropped it ahead of time, and we're ready to go. Let's try this baby out, okay? Trying to get underneath the glass's ear or handle. And I can see where to carry the line on trimming into my beard area. I don't want to go too far. A lot of whiskers there. <clears throat> Doing the opposite side, downward pass. Notice when I'm right underneath that earpiece. Notice when I'm underneath the top part of the ear, I'm at a more of a, the angle of attack is, is decreased somewhat. I think I said that right. I may be wrong totally. Put it this way. I go in at this angle instead of increasing the angle at 
this <laughs> would be lower, actually, I believe. That's about, what, 50, 45 degrees? Yeah, 46, 47. <laughs> and that would be about, <laughs> that's too straight. But I think you get the idea. The idea is so I can creep underneath the, the earpiece of the glasses. And that helps me get under there. Well, this, uh, this is the first attempt at doing this new way of shaving that one of my buddies came up with. <clears throat> Who knows if I will do that again. Going to recoat. It's a great lather. I mean, the scent is, uh, meh. You know, I'll be honest. The scent is meh. It's uh, nothing to write home about to me. They've got another scent I'm wanting to try. The Caribbean, something like that. My buddy Rich Hanson and Shading with Rich has, uh, has some of that stuff. He, he said it's real good. Never tried it, but I plan to. Okay, <clears throat> right now I'm going to do a mustache. speaking since then but back around the four-year-old stage I was all about toys I'm serious and that was it nothing else and Logan tells me the other day he would just 
love to have a Lamborghini. <laughs> Hell, I couldn't even say Lamborghini when I was four. <laughs> I'm serious, too. I mean that sincerely. I think I was still learning simple words like fire department. <laughs> oh, sad, sad, sad. Yeah. I want a Lamborghini when I get a car. Papa. Okay. <laughs> that boy is something. <clears throat> Just doing the trim underneath the beard line right now. I'm going downtown to uh, the Lower Paducah Arts Festival. Lower Downtown Paducah Arts Festival. They hold this every year, Downtown Paducah. The Art District of Paducah, <clears throat> they have uh, several vendors who set up, I understand. They also have, uh, well, that particular area where people reside in the lower art district there are a lot of artists down there or artists <laughs> and uh, some of them are really very good well according to what I've been told They even set up on on the street or sidewalk. They set up on the sidewalk and some of them even paint their art on the canvas outside on the sidewalk. I understand there was a guy painting last year with a razor. It might have been a razor blade. I'm not sure. I wasn't there, but I'm going to look for him this year. And if I find that gentleman, mm-hmm, he's going to do some paint. <laughs> wow. This thing is really sharp. Getting off a lot of whiskers there. I'm dipping the tip in the water making sure that it uh, takes some of the, the chunk of whiskers off. Because as I said, I am working on a uh, two and a half, a two and a half uh, day beard growth. That stuff is great lather, even though it doesn't uh, smell to suit me. It may suit you. Give it a try. Like I said before, Razor Rock has never let me down. As far as uh, lather ability goes, I mean, serious, they have always had some excellent lathering soaps. And this one, made with lanolin. Yeah, one of their new, one of their new lines scent soaps. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to do the upward pass now.
I like this. Nice razor. I really miss the barber's notch. I do. And I've nicked myself a couple of places. I don't know, it's been three days since I shaved. <laughs> no, I'm in a hurry. Got a buddy on the way over. Sorry. That's the truth. Don't ever rush. I don't want to rush because I, I enjoy my shave. I really do. <clears throat> but evidently I'm, I've been rushing. You know, whether you realize it or not, sometimes on the inside you're like 100 miles an hour, you know? Okay, I'm going to wipe this down and see how well I did. Got a nice little line there. That, that buddy was right. Nice little line there, too. But like I said, whether or not I'll be able to remember to do that is two different things. I did it once. <laughs> and that is it. I'm gonna close up shop on this Wade and Butcher. Big old seven eighths, nice razor. First, I'm going to wipe down a lot of the soap. Afterwards, I will strop this razor. I will, I'll strop that razor. <laughs> That's how I know what's in it. <clears throat> The big Razor Rock shave the day uh, today. Razor Rock's Tuscan Ode. I like it. The new formulation with lanolin, like I mentioned. And now I'm going to try and close the pores. Since I got a few of them secreting <laughs> the red liquid. This is what I'm using today. Clubman Pinode. Yeah. That's the bottle. I like this bottle. Even has some of the original label on it still. And this, oh no, this is just terrible. Well, damn, it came unglued. I'll have to go and glue that back on because it just came right off, just dried out, I guess, because of the alcohol that's in the product permeating the glue. So, I guess I'll have to use another brand of aftershave. Dang. <laughs> okay. I am still going to use some Clubman Pinot, just like I mentioned, but I will use their Virgin Island Bay Rum. Not in a Clubman Pinot bottle, however. I'm going to be using this one, though. Yes, this is a vintage bottle. This one is Bay Rum by the Harmony of Boston Bottle Company. <clears throat> this uh, company came out with this bottle in about uh, 1909, I believe, if I have my figures correct. It's got this type of top. <clears throat> That's affixed to a cork. And this is... <clears throat> Don't tell me. No, I'm joking. This is a screw cap that is made to go on there. You just unscrew it. And believe it or not, the perfect amount of bay rum usually comes up. I say usually. That amount right there. I was just noticing though, this, this had like a, a little small piece of cardboard in the bottom that came out. I wasn't aware that was even in there. That is amazing though that it is. I will put that back. I want that to be in there. It helps seal it up, so to speak. Anyway, this is their Virgin Island Bay Rum. No, it's not Captain Hunter's. So it's going to burn and sting. Oh, 
Yes, it is. Oh, it is stinging. Whoa. Ah, this is not Captain Hunter's Sense of the Seven Seas. Mm. <laughs> oh, this is some strong alcohol. <clears throat> oh, it burns my eyes even. Club Man Pinot and their Virgin Island Bay Rum, which uh, smells nice. It's different. But it sure enough burns. <laughs> oh me, I, and I had a little scrape right there. And one right up there. It happens, okay? Today I am using some Sarah McNamara Professional Skin Transformer. Why? I need to transform my face. Or at least this section right here. This stuff is really thick. It goes goes on really like a a silky feeling. It's very silky. Real nice too. I just uh, wanted to make sure that I got my face restored. And this stuff will do the trick. Sarah McNamara is um, a professional skincare product. Not really sure where you can buy it. Probably Macy's and other skincare uh, official stores. Perhaps um, maybe even Ulta Cosmetics. Maybe even Walmart. Hell, I don't know. Try it out and see. All right? You never know, right? And that is it. I am still on time. <laughs> I'm going to enhance my intelligence with the art critics and hang out with the art district folk. <laughs> hey, you know that painting right there looks pretty sweet. What y'all call that? <laughs> mm, that ain't what I called it. <laughs> I'm going to have some fun though. and That's just me. I have fun wherever I go. Life is short. You better live it while you can. Thank you guys. That's my tip of the day, okay? Peace.